Hey folks, Todd Colburn here with your Aerospace Structure Series. This video is going to serve two purposes. It's going to show how to get, uh, it's going to show how to interpolate on your TI Inspire calculator. It's also going to provide the framework to teach you how to make a program that will interpolate for the torsional constants when you're in analyzing torsion of non-round, uh, non-circular members. This corresponds with lecture one from the strength one play, uh, excuse me, lecture seven from the strength one playlist where we're looking at all the basic methods for structural mechanics. First, let's take a look at the equations that we need to do this operation. Now, remember we have a thin walled, uh, thin walled non-circular section. The shear stress is given by TT over J. The shear angle of twist is TL over GJ. The torsional constant, there are two of them, one of them for stress and one of them for angle of twist. We're going to need to go to this table to determine what those are. Now we've got the B over T ratio and we're going to use that to find alpha and beta. Now if B over T was 1, we just grab Alpha is 0 0.208, beta is 0 0.1406. But let's say that our alpha, our x value, falls between these two values here. We then need to define this. We can call this x1 and x2, this y1 and y2. What we're going to do is get the relative position of this value we need relative to the two values nearest and the corresponding values of the thing we're interpolating for. The basic interpolation formula, if we're looking for the value of y that falls between these two values, would be x minus x1, that means x minus x1, divided by x2 minus x1, times y2 minus y1, plus y1. That's how we get interpolate for that value. We can do that for either of these. So if we try to do that on the alpha curve, it looks like this. So if we try to do that on the beta curve, it looks like this, where we have the A over B ratio that we're using to find the desired coefficient. Got that? So keep this in mind, and we'll be using this as we program our program. So grab your calculator, and let's go ahead and uh, create our new program. Okay? We're going to create a new program, and our first page is going to be a calculator page. We're going to save this. Let's go ahead and save it. So we'll pick Document, File, Save As. We're going to put it in a new folder right here. So let's pick a new folder, and we'll call this Strength1, underscore 1. All right. And we're going to call this document Torsion. We can use this document in our Strength 1 folder to do all of our torsional calculations we might need. Our first page is a calculator page, as we've discussed in other programs that we can use to do the actual calculations. So we've created a uh, document called Torsion and placed it in our Strength 1 folder. We now can create a new hit document and now we want to add a page. So document, insert, page. And this next page is going to be a program editor, a new one. We're going to call this program uh, torsional constant. Uh, we'll call it uh, non-circular torsional constant A and B. Okay? And it's a program, yes, and we will make it a public program. So that's our second page is this program that's going to do this. Now, what we're going to need to do, remember, we have all these inputs. We're going to need to put in the current value of A over B. So let's go ahead and put that here as an argument coming in. We're going to need the, uh, the A over B value just before and just after it. So we'll say A over B. 1, A over B, 2, that's above and below, but we're going to need a comma between those. We're going to need uh, our alpha 1 and alpha 2, so we'll call it A1, 
and A2, that's the alpha values above and below, and we're going to need our B1 and our B2, which are the beta values above and below. We could also use different constant names, okay? Let's go ahead and uh, just drop down here, and in order to be sure we know what we have, let's display, and we will display uh, in quotation, so we're going to grab this little button that gives us our quotations, which is right here, control, this one here, there, there we go. So we want A over B equals, and then we're going to come out here and write out what that is. We want it to tell us what A over B is because we want to verify our inputs. This is not required, but it's a good way to do it. We can just do a copy and paste or just retype this. This is going to be A over B1. We've got A over B2. We've got our A1. Okay, we've got A1. We're going to call out A2. We're going to do a B1. Now, you might want to change these variable names if you've got a lot going on with your programs. Then... Uh, you might want to shorten this up. Uh, you might want to make your names a little more unique so that you don't trip over other variable definitions. Okay, we've got A over B, A over B1, 2, A1, A2, B1, and B2. These were the inputs, and all we're doing here is just displaying it to the screen to remind us of what we've input. If uh, this is all superfluous and not required, but it's good program. Now we're ready to do our calculation. We're going to calculate A first, and we see that that, and we're going to put that in parentheses, A over B uh, minus A over B1, and then let's go ahead and we'll divide this puppy. Let's take all this divided by uh, a over B2 minus, oh, we're going to need parentheses, A over B2 minus A over B1. And then we're going to need all of this quantity, so we're going to need all of this with a parenthesis. And we're going to need that multiplied by our A2 minus A1 variables plus our A1 variable. That's going to give us A. So it looks like we have A over B minus A over B1. All of that divided by A over B2 minus A over B1. All of that whole quantity times A2 minus A1 plus A1. I'm typing this out on the computer rather than using my keyboard. It'll be it's a little more tedious to do it on your keyboard. We're going to do the same thing for beta. The only difference is we're going to have, this is going to be beta 2, beta 1, and beta 1. And then we can just display, and we can grab this earlier comment for display to save a little bit of time. You can actually do a copy-paste there in your TI Inspire as well. We want to display A, and we want to display B, and this is B. And you've just finished your interpolation program. Now, if you need to make another interpolation program, you can do it the same way. Just name it accordingly. We'll do Control B to save our syntax. Looks like we have a little syntax error. Let's take a look at what we have wrong. Okay, so I messed up our syntax. This command is just display like this. No L-A-Y. So let's get rid of these. Okay, I think we're good. Let's try control B. So we called our program non-circular torsional constant AB. And what we need to put in is our variables. Now let's say we're looking for, uh, say, 1.9. Let's say our E over B ratio is 1.9. We look at our table, we find out it's not there. So we go to the value right before it, 1.75, the value right after it, 2.0. Then we put in the alpha values, which at 2.0 is 0 0.240. We need the A, the 1 first. So that's going to be 0 
and the 2 value is 0.246. Then we're going to go to our beta values. So we're going to have our beta at 1.75 is 0.214, and our alpha is 0.229, or uh, beta 2 is 0.229. So we've got 1, 9, which goes from 175 to 2. We've got 239 to 246 and 214 to 226. Looks like that's good. Let's go ahead and try it out. And our program spits out our input so we can check it. A over B of 1.9. A over E 1.75. A over B 2 is 2.0. 0.239 to 246. 214 to 229. And if we scroll down a little bit, a equals A and B equals B. Oh, that's interesting. Let's go ahead and see what we did wrong there. So we're going to come down here. We defined A and B. It should be printing out our value. Oh, look at this. See this? We didn't define this correctly. This is the definition, so it needs to be control this guy and this one needs to be control this guy. This is the kind of mistakes you make every day when you're programming. So now we can control B that puppy and then come back over here. We will just scroll up and hit that value and do that same command. Bang. And now our A is 0 0.2432. 0 0.24 three two and beta is point two two three so that's how we can interpolate to calculate the alpha and the beta uh, using our b over t ratio once again this program is written for a torsional constant for non-circular sections but can the same or a similar program that can be written to do any kind of interpolation Give it a try on your own calculator. Make sure you can program this and you can input all the values. Uh, enjoy. If you're a sharp programmer, you may be able to put in this as a table and then interpolate and you have less inputs to do. Uh, that may be my next program for you. But for now, you're armed and able to interpolate quickly and efficiently. Enjoy.